Hi friends, it's me, Miss Diane, at the Glenside Public Library, here to read you another story. But before we get started, we need to sing our first song. So get your glasses ready, get your pretend book ready. All right, you know the song. Here we go. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Then I'll read, 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 and I'll look, look, look. I'll put down my glasses, and then I'll shut my book. <laughs> Good job. All right, I can see that you are all ready to listen. So, the story we're going to read today is called Goldilocks and the Three Engineers. So, this is Goldilocks. Do you know what an engineer is? Well, engineers build things from a set of plans. So, Goldilocks is an inventor. She likes to create things using her imagination. But sometimes she needs a little bit of help to build her invention. Now, we all know the story about Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? So it's a story about a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear. They go out for the day, and when they're gone, Goldilocks comes into their house, and she sits in their chair, and she eats their porridge, and she sleeps in their bed. And then when the bears get home, they're surprised because Goldilocks made quite a mess in their home. So this story is reversed. In this story, Goldilocks leaves for a walk and the three bears come inside her house. Let's see what happens. Did I mention that the author of the story is Sue Fleiss? Sorry if I didn't. In a tiny bungalow, there lived a clever thinker. Young Goldilocks invented things. She'd make and craft and tinker. Oops, sorry. You can see her there inside her house. Gadgets that could zip your coat and tie your tennis shoes. Tools that help you seek and find whatever you might lose. That would be a cool thing to have. But Goldilocks was in a rut. She had inventor's block. I have no inspiration left. Mm, I need to take a walk. And so she did. In the meantime, three smart bears all worked in preparation for one delicious feast before their winter hibernation. So if you look closely at the picture, you can see that baby bear is using some sort of an invention of their own. Using a broom and a tennis racket. And here Papa Bear has something that's picking the berries right off the bushes for him. And wait, look at Mama Bear. And she is vacuuming the berries off the, the trees. Pretty clever ideas. On that hill, said Papa Bear, the honey is the best. Oh, when we get there, Mama yawned, we'll eat and then we'll rest. When they'd finished up their meal, they spied a bungalow. We could spend the winter there. It's sheltered from the snow. Uh-oh. But whose bungalow is that? It definitely belongs to somebody. It definitely belongs to Goldilocks. No one's home, said Mama Bear, and opened up the door. The room was full of strange devices, widgets, tools, and more. Now normally, you shouldn't go into somebody else's house, even if the door is open. 
but maybe the rules are different in places where bears wear sweaters. Look at this, said Papa Bear, a chair made just for you. It feeds you and it wipes your mouth and it reads you stories too. Hmm. If you look closely, you can see that there's a napkin for wiping the mouth and over here is a fork and over here is a picture book. So chair does all those things. Oh my goodness, Mama said. A porridge stirring bowl? And this bed rocks right to sleep, all with remote control. Hmm, imagine that. A bed that can rock you to sleep using a remote control. I think I need an invention for turning pages. Baby Bear climbed in the chair. I wish it had some tires. So Papa added four small wheels with nuts and bolts and pliers. Cool, now Baby Bear can roll around in that chair. Although, it's not his chair, it's Goldilocks's chair. I hope she doesn't mind. There we go. Mama put some porridge on. It's over stirred and runny. This concoction simply needs a touch of golden honey. So there you can see she's fixing it a little bit. She's using honey to fix it. We can't just stay, said Papa Bear. It really isn't right. But now it's dark, said Baby Bear. So maybe just tonight? They crawled in bed and turned it on. It rocked them all about. But then it sped up, swung too fast, and flipped the bears right out. Oh. It tumbled onto the ground. Baby fixed the engine block, replaced the gears that burned. Soon the bears were fast asleep. Then Goldilocks returned. Oh, uh oh. Look, they're fast asleep. They didn't even hear her come in. Hmm, who's been reading in my chair? And now it rolls around? I'll admit this makes more sense and covers lots of ground. Who's been eating porridge here? It's creamier somehow. Oh, there's honey in the mix. It tastes much better now. So she did notice the changes. Goldilocks heard snoring sounds and followed cautiously. <gasps> Who's that sleeping in my bed and staring back at me? <gasps> Yikes, the bears all cried at once. Oh, we know how this appears. We truly couldn't help ourselves. We're three bear engineers. So they're trying to tell Goldilocks that the reason that they fixed her things was because they couldn't help it because they're engineers and they like to fix and build things. The three bears then explain themselves. We hope you'll understand, for as you know, experiments don't always go as planned. You've improved my projects here and made them much more fun, proving that four brains by far are better than just one. So Goldilocks realized that with all four of them working together, her inventions were better.
Perhaps what I was looking for was not more inspiration, but engineers to team with me and bring their innovation. Goldilocks and these three bears exchanged ideas all night. Their teamwork triumphed in the end and things turned out just right. So they built some more things together. Soon the three bears had to leave. We'll meet up in the spring. And when we do, said Goldilocks, we'll make the next big thing. Oh, that's what they built. They built a kind of a bike or a rickshaw for themselves so that they could, oh yeah, they're pedaling it. And then look at baby bears on the handlebars. That's an awful cool invention. I like it. Hmm. Have you ever invented anything? No? Maybe you should. Think about it. Maybe you could invent the next big thing. <laughs> All right. I hope you liked that story. I did. And I want to thank you for being good listeners. And I guess it's time for a goodbye song. I went and I got my cowboy hat for us. There we go. Do you have a hat to put on? Do you have a winky eye? Do you have your, <clears throat> pardon me, your yeehaws? Yeehaw! Good job. All right, here we go. Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Yeehaw! Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Yeehaw! Well, it's time to say goodbye. Tip your hat and wink your eye. Well, it's time to say goodbye to my friends. Yee-ha! All right, partners, thank you, and I'll see you at the library. Bye.